Okay, welcome to the Cookies Character Creation Special for XCOM 2. So, uh, this follows on from around the middle of the second episode. If you haven't seen that yet, I don't know why you're here, but we'll go with it. So, I'm just going to be doing a whole bunch of character customizations. Um, yeah, putting a s my initial squad together. Um, shouldn't take too long. See, I get really enthused about you know, going through character creation and getting it all done and then eventually it'll be just like, oh, okay, I'm bored of this, I'm just gonna, like, do stupid characters for the rest of them. And in XCOM 2, you're expected to have a much larger roster. Um, as you can see, like, I think in the original you start with maybe 10 to 20, um, not even 20 in your initial pool, but as you can see, I've got, like, I don't know, a lot, okay? Just a lot of soldiers, and... I think it's probably to balance the fact that you're not going to be... Like, as you can see, I'm getting like 20% on each shot, but if I take enough 20% shots, which is why you have the larger squad size, eventually, you know, something's going to hit. And it also means that losing one soldier to an untimely death um, hurts less, which is good because I'm going to actually take my deaths like a man instead of sca save scumming, like I constantly do. Anyway, you're not here for this, you're here for character creation. Alright, so, uh, Sniper, who's this gonna be? So now I know I can change genders, I'm gonna start basing some of these rookies on my friends. So, character info, uh, Sniper. Now, who do I want to be the Sniper? Yeah, you know what? Sorry, but I have to. Parsons, you're the Sniper. And the reason why is because I'm gonna give you the Sniper voice pack from TF2, but in honour of your legendary Australian accent. Alright, so, uh, nationality Russia, yeah, we'll keep you as Russian, why not? Okay, props. Now, do I just keep you true to character, or do I try and spice it up a bit? Alright, if I can find the sniper's hat from TF2, that would be great. There's some interesting options here. Uh, nope. Nope. Ooh! Nope. Nope. No. Hey! There it is! I think whenever I build a sniper in this game, I always give him that hat. It's just... TF2 has ruined my life. Sniper has. Sniper would have something light. Uh, you know what? Bare forearm. Bare forearms. Why not? Okay, uh, legs. No one's gonna be getting the mini shorts. I'm not that cruel. All right. Oh, I should random.org a character. That'd be good. All right, let's go with that. Also, let's go with that. Don't know if I have that much of a rhyme or reason to why I choose what I choose for my characters. Uh, you do get glasses. There you go. Sniper with glasses makes sense, right? I'm sure, it's not a requirement that you have perfect vision to be a sniper. Why would you do that? No, you don't get a mask. Uh, weapon pattern. Uh, Brazilian bicolored vehicle. Sounds interesting enough, we'll go with that. Uh, nope, that's already decided I don't want that. Face paint. Hmm, what would a sniper have? <laughs> Sorry, Parsons. Okay. Now, hair color. Blondish. Uh, hair itself. Oh, the hair's not going to poke out properly underneath the um, stupid hat. 
is there a afro option? Uh, I'm not going to give everyone long curls, that'd be stupid. Sure, why not? Everyone gets long curls. It's the closest I'm going to get. Uh, I'm a green, secondary armor color, yeah that's fine. Yeah. See, the main things I'm just going to be customizing, I feel, in this is like, I'm going to go like, ew, whatever the costume, doesn't matter. Adding the voice is where it's going to be at. And also, I guess, the hair and vaguely getting the voices right. Okay, uh, or vaguely trying to match it to people. Let's go, mate! Perfect. Uh, yeah, let's go with a red hue for the weapon. That doesn't look too garish. Alright, safe to the pool, why not? Okay, so, sniper done. We're not going to be seeing him for a while though, because he's wounded for, like, the rest... This is the long war, right? This is not going to... This is going to be a quick game. I'm going to be able to win within the first couple of months. I'm sure of it. Alright, uh, technical. Who's going to be the tech expert? Uh... You know what? Sure. Let's go with, uh, good friend of mine, Moron. Otherwise known as the guy with many names. Hopefully he watches this. Okay, character info. Is, is that the way I do it? I think that's the way I do it. Or is it moron? No, I'm pretty sure it's moron. Alright. Uh, last name, chess guy, obviously. Uh, yeah, Ireland. We are Irish. Props. Okay. Arms. Yeah. Uh, no, you know what? Let's keep the arms as default. I mean, what's the point of always customizing the things if we don't actually show off the base armors? Alright, legs. Uh, uh, torso. No jacket for you. Hold on. Oh, that, okay, so he's my demolitions expert, so he's definitely going to be wanting to... Nope, no shirtless people for you. Yeah, so he's definitely going to have like the heaviest looking armor. So I need uh, legs. What's the heaviest I can get? Why is hot pants even an option? Come on, We're fighting a freaking war here. Yep. Shrouded in mystery. <laughs> Weapon pattern. Uh, already done that one. What have we got? US chop chip. Yep. Uh, face paint. Not that we can see much under his glasses and goggles. Yeah, if you, you know what, I might as well not do anything. If he's just going to be wearing his goggles and things. Alright, uh, yeah, that's done. Props, face, face D. Oh, I forgot to change Parson's face. Oh well. This face matters the least. It's going to be hidden behind. Hair. Alright, so I've, def I've definitely gotten to the part where it's just like, Oh, I'm going to just do whatever rather than try and stay faithful to the source material of recreating my friends. I think I would have tried a little bit harder if there were face customizable options and, you know, perhaps more hair options, but there's really not a great deal here. So, nope. So I think I'm just at the point where I'm going to start just making wild and zany characters. 
there we go. Short hair. Uh, hair color it can be brown. So at least I'm still at the point where I'm not doing hair colors and like. Okay, he can have pink eyes because no one's gonna see his eyes for whatever reason. Like I don't know. I'll redesign his character, take off his goggles, and be like, "Oh God, that's right. I did that for some bizarre reason." Uh, yeah, skin color. Wow, I really just skipped over the customization for the last character. All right, I'll change the weapon at least. Stop being lazy. Uh, voice. See, this is. I'm really just in it to assign them all different voices. Uh, okay, demo man. Who do I want to be the demo? Man? Well, we'll make the demo man the demo man. Move that kid up! Seems legit. Excellent. Alright. Alright, and by saving these all to the pool, they'll pleasantly surprise me by just immediately existing in my... Um, in my character roster. So, that'll be fun. Okay, I'm just going to take a quick break from this, be right back, and we're back. Okay, so, uh, what have I done? I've done three characters, I'm going to rename the rest of the people that have already um, gone, and then we'll sort of move on. Alright, so, who's going to be next? I'll go Alec next, being the inspiration for this Let's Play. Hope he doesn't die. Sure, you can be from Norway. Uh, props. Oh, I want to customize, but I don't want to spend any more time. I want to get into the meat of the game. Ugh. This is frustrating for me as a player. I don't know why you're watching this. Seriously. Don't you have something better to do? Alright. Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's do spike gauntlets for days. Character is he? Oh, he's the grenadier. Yeah, you can get spike short grenades. You can have feathers. Why not? Legs. Nope. Uh, torso. So I'm just picking stuff randomly at this point. I think I really only care about, at this point, sort of, the voice, the name, and the hair. So I might just go through and do that. Oh, I also kind of care about the weapons, but there's too many options. You can have the French Lizard. Like Robbie, right? Yeah, let's go with that. Uh, yeah. Alright, let's go and move on to hair. Nope, no hair. No. Oh, facial hair. Why just completely skip that on the rest of my freaking characters? Oh, I was going through like, yeah, you can have a buzz cut. That's eye color. That's not what I wanted. That's better. Is there like a second buzz cut option? Buzz cut fade. Don't know what that means. Alright, so. Uh, okay, what am I giving you? Link voice is obviously the best voice pack. <laughs> Your uh, Overwatch prowess. I think you can be Hanzo. Try to keep up. Do not falter now. Yeah, some of these are. Uh, some of these voice packs are just not great quality. Says the guy speaking from a mic is technically not great quality either. All right, that's fine. 
PC abilities. Oh! Oh, this is different. I feel like by going ahead and doing character customization before I actually get into the meat of the game, I'm spoiling things for myself. Like, obviously that is the, um, that ACW, Advanced Combat Warfare Place thing? I don't know. Um, Advanced Warfare Center, there we go. It help if I've got the letters right in the thing. In the right order. It has a different... Uh, different use in this game, in Long War compared to the normal game. Alright, customize. This can be Cordell. Thanks for hooking me up with that. <laughs> you know what? I wasn't going to give anyone hot pants, but then A, you happen to already have them equipped, and B, you're a bike rider. So, sorry, stuck with it now. Uh, yep, Cordell. Thanks for hooking me up with that uh, sick profile picture. Yeah, you can be German, why not? Uh, yeah, let's just go straight to the bit I care about. Uh, facial hair, I'll give you your mo. Why not? Uh, hair colour, black. It's hair. Be like, short. Maybe like... Yeah, simple short, why not? Hey, that's like a perfect likeness of Cordell, right there. Turned out better than I expected. Oh, so you've already got a voice equipped to Lee Everett. You know what? Uh, Lee Everett of Walking Dead fame, for those who don't know. Walking Dead the game fame, rather. The best, or at least I think the best, incarnation of the Walking Dead series. I haven't seen the... Uh, I haven't read the comics, to be honest, but, you know. I've already played the game, so why bother? I'm sure they're not any good. Uh, weapon colour and thing... Yeah, I've all of a sudden really starting to lose interest, so... Yeah, that's Cordell. Perfect. Turned out really well. Oh, he's wounded. We're not going to see him for a while. Bye, Cordell. Okay, who's next? I think I better start... Oh, wait. Cordell. Yeah, no, why not? Um... Oh, I'm going to start adding my other homies, so I'll add in Angus. Oh, no, 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 Angus. Angus. Let's go. Donut. Sure. Customize your last names. Oh, that's right. I oh, see I have all these great ideas. And then when I actually come to play the game, it's like, oh, I forget all about them. I was going to give everyone their, like, Steam nickname as their last name. Uh, United States, male, sure, let's go with that. Angus mutton chops, therefore he now has mutton chops. Grow mutton chops, Angus. Uh, yeah, you know what, we'll keep that one parted. Go hair colour, sort of. Yeah, let's go with that. Uh, let's keep the arm the way it is. Hair, props, yeah, no, that's fine. Voice, here's what we want. Now, what am I going to give you? Yep, you're junk right. Hooray! Save. Go down. Alright, only a few more left. Let's go with Matt next. Uh, dog. Matt Dog. What up, Matt Dog? I'm not that cruel, I'll turn you male. Uh, face, face A, short, five o'clock shadow, uh, yeah, we'll keep that, why not? Uh, a little bit more tan than that, yeah, we'll go with that. Uh, race, short, let's keep that, armor colour, secondary armor colour, 
Look, if I'm not customizing you as much, it's not because I don't love you, it's just because I can't be asked dicking about with character customizations for too long. I have the attention span of like something that what was I talking about? Anyway. Okay, Duke Nukem voice. Yep. Done. Alright, last one. I really hope that Duke Nukem voice wasn't on him before I swapped gender. It'd been a little bit disconcerting. Alright, last spot. Who's the last spot gonna go to? Alright, for the moment I'll give it to Dylan. Up down voice represent. Besides, I need to bring some diversity into this uh, playthrough. So I think having a uh, ginger will help that a little. Uh, yep, yeah, hair. Uh, everyone has boring short hair. It's boring. I'm gonna have to start going off script here and start doing like weird and crazy characters. Uh, yeah, that'll do. Uh, gotta add some, at least a couple, bit of stubble. Alright, I'm very tempted. Yeah, I'm gonna go very off script soon and just start giving people very weird and wonderful appearances. Uh, yeah, you know what? You have a beard. What, what voice will I give you? Um... Character, I oh you're the samurai, right? Uh, by samurai, I mean shinobi. I think it's called. Same thing, right? Words. Who needs them? Alright, you can be Han Solo. Let's go. Loud and clear. All complaints about assigned voices or appearance can be directed to general management of IDGAF. Right, okay, that's character creation done. I'm going to leave it here for this spe character creation special, which I'm sure is riveting viewing. Um, but yeah, now back to the actual game. And I'll probably have to try and remember to rehash some of the stuff that I mentioned in here that wasn't to do with character creation. Otherwise, my real playthrough is going to make no sense. Alright, um, thank you for watching. I'll see you in episode 3.